Well, as the Easter Festival of Plays goes on, I've got uh, the adjudicator, Robert, with us, uh, sitting at this very posh adjudication box here at the Gaiety. I'm impressed. Though. This is a, a good setup. Is this actually a good place to watch the place from? You, you know, just a few rows back here in the stalls. Yes, it's, it's an excellent position. I mean, I've never been in such a sort of plush spot to adjudicate a play, and the, the theatre itself is a complete experience. Uh, but yes, it's a good angle on everything that's going on, and well, ideal. We're halfway through the, the run. I'm not going to ask you anything that gives any spoilers, but overall, can you tell us how you've been feeling so far about the festival? Well, it's no spoiler uh, uh, alert to say that it is a, a first-class festival in terms of the organisation, the friendliness, and just the way in which the, the groups are well supported by the organisers. And one of the things that's very clear to me is the, the rich variety of what is on display this year. They are challenging plays in some cases for the audience. They will divide the audience in terms of the content, but the way in which they have been put together by the group has impressed me so far. Do they all send you the plays in advance? You have a chance to do your own research? I mean, one of them was even new, wasn't it, so far already? So that must be different. A play called Dizzy Boo uh, yeah. by a writer called Brian Wright for White Cobra Productions. Yes, that's a new play. Yeah. And, of course, there's nothing you can do with that one. You can't do your internet search. You can't look <laughs> at YouTube. It's very much taking the play as it arrives at face value and working out what the challenges are for the groups to put it together. But it's never the play I'm adjudicating. It's always the way they're put on. Okay. Now... Of course, they put on a play, they know they're going to get adjudicated, but the kind of, I suppose, interesting part of it is that you go on the stage afterwards, they sit in a box, and you, <laughs> yes, you start do. telling them what they did well Absolutely. and what they didn't. Yes, it's a box to um, yeah. stage left. Uh, you can feel their gaze <laughs> penetrating you as you start to work on their play. Um, and just that happens, that feature of it is an, another dimension to yeah. this festival, really. You're, you're quite good, I say, because obviously sometimes there are things that are glaringly... Uh, maybe not on, on message, maybe, but you, you, you say it subtly, and I, you, they, they like the feedback, I'm guessing. That seems to be the case, mm. yes. Um, one of the things I... You one of the things an adjudicator would do is that they want to talk about what's working well and also some of the things that they could do even better. And... Uh, you, in, when it comes to particular individuals, I try and do that in a supportive way. The last thing I would want to happen is that anybody came to a festival and thought, I'm never going to do that again because I was you know, humiliated from the stage. You want to I'll try and phrase it so that people... What's interesting is the audience go, mm, mm, they agree with you. I mean, and this can be good as well. Let's face it, I mean, you have standout performances you really are impressed with and you, you tell them that. Yes, correct. that's right, yeah. yes. And you can tell that when the audience does a spontaneous round of applause you're talking about a particular performance yeah. and it sometimes surprises me because they interrupt the adjudication with a round of applause for that particular um, performance that they've, they've enjoyed. Now, not your first time here, we've chatted before, I mean, you, you come back quite often. You, what's, what's it like overall, I mean, for a small island of 80,000 people? I mean, to, I'm not away from the, just, you know, when you do other things like the Young Actor of Man, for instance. Please. Yes, that's right. I mean, last year when we spoke about the Young Actor of Man, I was adjudicating the first round, yeah. in which case there was about 26 cracking performances and to narrow it down to, to six uh, or eight. And I was very impressed by the uh, standard of the work of the young people who put themselves forward for that. OK, this year you've got just the eight to deal I've with, I've got you? the eight. It will be as difficult this afternoon. I don't, I'm looking forward to it, but I know it's going to be a challenge to pick out the winner. OK, and if anyone wants to see what happens, we're hopefully going to record all of them and put them out over the next few weeks. Plus, if you're watching this during uh, the Easter Festival play run, don't forget that it's on until Friday. It is. Some more cracking stuff, no doubt, we've seen here down at the Gaiety.